Good morning everyone. So this video is all about my um, collection of ballpoint pens. Today we're gonna go through every single one of them. These are five pens. I haven't used all of them yet, but I you know I tested them. The first one we're gonna test now is this Globe pen. I got it for free at a concert. We're only doing this because we dropped out of college. <laughs> yeah. So this pen is from Globe for zero pesos. And at first it was pretty okay. So let's try it now. Okay, so there is the line. So the the pen feels pretty weird. At first it was smooth, but then once it starts running out of ink, it's kind of like dry and it's like there's a lot of friction. Well, wow, friction. Okay, so this is the pen. It's upside down. The next pen we're gonna test is this one. This pen over here. I don't know what. No, oh, it's Panda. It's a Panda pen. This is from my dad. So, which means I got it for free too. Yeah. As you can see, it's thinner than the last time. Because this one is pretty thick. If you can see the difference. Let's try it. Wow. Look at that. It's thinner, obviously. But the feeling is kind of drier too. Since it's thinner. So we have the last three pens. I just bought these two days ago, so I haven't used them that much. So this is Faber Castell. Faber Faber. Faber Castell. This is a Faber Castell pen. I got it for 18 pesos and 25 centavos. I had a pen which is like 9 pesos, but it's ugly. Let's try it. Okay, there it is. This one right here. This pen is pretty smooth. It's smoother than these two, which is nice for writing. Which is nice for writing, in, like in general. <laughs> so this is a pretty good pen. I would recommend this, but after two days, it started to get lighter, which probably means that it's running out of ink. Okay, so this one is called an iPen 7. But it's only 20 pesos. No, actually it's 20,000 pesos. So expensive. It's an iPen 7. So when you open it, it's like that. And it looks like this. So it looks like this. Um, compared to this one, it's kind of drier in terms of writing. It's less smooth. Yeah, but the, the shade of the black is pretty dark, which is nice for writing so that the writings are clear. Out of these, these have gaps. This one, you twist it. This one, you just press this button over here and it comes out. Oh, I think this is the fattest pen out of all of them, which I really like. So let's try it. As you can see, this is the line that we just drew and it's the thickest. Okay, so this is the pen that we, I, the, the line that we just drew with this pen. And it's obviously the thickest and the darkest out of all of them. Let's try writing a word. So here is the word. It's pretty good, but there are spaces in between them, like in between the lines. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. So that's all of it, I guess. I think my favorite is the Faber Castle pen. Actually, these two. They're like equal, since both of them are the thickest out of all of them. I recommend these. This one is 27 pesos. I think it's the most expensive, but it's pretty good. It's, it's, don't, don't hate, don't laugh. This is my favorite out of all of them, followed by this one, even though it's the thinnest. I think the quality is really nice, the, the darkness of the lines. And then followed by this one. These two. This was really good when I first got it, but it's only been three weeks since it was given to me and it's already running out of ink. So that's a lot of minus points. So yeah, my ranking. So thank you everyone for checking in to my channel today. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and to turn on the notification bell so you can always be updated with my daily videos on pants and other stuff. Thank you! Bye!